Well, you're still watching Morning at NTV. We are live right here in our studios at the Kampala Serena Conference Center. Thank you, Stephen Bede, for that wonderful traffic update. Right about now, we are heading into our next banter. The Renzori Fraternity Association will be meeting this weekend at Chambago to fraternize and get together to promote diversity and promote unity in brotherhood. All this comes against the background of negative publicity owing to the political conflicts that rocked the Renzururu, the Renzururu area from 2014 to 2017. I'm talking about the Kasese massacre that happened around December that left over 100 people dead. I remember it was shortly after the uh, murder of Haji Suleiman, Mama Fina's, uh, Mama Fina's husband. I think you know Mama Fina. The man was gunned down on Saturday, linked to ADF. Now, the following Sunday, the army surrounds the Renzuru Kingdom and bombards the kingdom, leaving over 100 people dead. Now, what the Renzori, the Renzori Fraternity Association is trying to do is get people from this area who have been uh, traumatized by, the, by this political conflict to get to fraternize at this event tomorrow on Saturday at Chambogo University to unite and get to know each other, maybe help a few people here and there cope with the trauma that they are dealing with. And right now I'm joined by the Renzori Fraternity Association Publicity Secretary, Kapsun Sawosi. He joins me right now in studio to dissect some of these issues. Many thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Now, first question. Why now? Why is this fraternity choosing to meet now? Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. As you explained mm -hmm. in the introduction, mm -hmm. The Renzori has had a fair share of negative publicity yes. because of the reasons you highlighted. And in our assessment, this happens normally during the election cycle. Mm -hmm. It's normally the politics that divides us and gets us into trouble. Because I remember this so massacre happened in 2017, a after the election. After, after the election. Yes, now we are in 2019, headed into 2021. But remember, the genesis so is the, the, is the, the timing 20, now, the 20, 2014. It started 2014. Yes. In the preparation of the 2016 elections mm -hmm. and, then and then after and then after pre and post election violence yes okay so for us we are looking at this period as uh, as the right one because again you're heading into the political mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. political season mm -hmm. so we think if we can now strengthen our ties uh, work together come together with what unites us mm -hmm. we should be able to hold each other mm -hmm. through this turmoil that comes mm -hmm. with the elections so the timing is perfect this mm -hmm. is the time to get to know us to know ourselves mm -hmm. to interact further so that when this hits us it finds us strong and we're not so i understand out. this fraternity will be held at chambogo university yes. right yes now what do you hope to achieve at this meeting uh, from this meeting we are we're getting so many people coming together uh, it's a renzori family day mm -hmm. many families coming down here we get to know ourselves we get to know our families and get to know our, our strengths we have companies that we work with others we run others we own all will be at chambogo exhibiting what they do. So let, let's get this straight. These are former rebels uh, not, that you're not, dealing not, with. Not, not really. Not really. Former rebels and people who got caught up in the conflict. Call it the affected community. Yes. <laughs> it's an affected... <laughs> it's an affected Just cla for clarity. Yes. yes. Some of them, uh, most of these people really lost families. Dude, I mean lost people during that During attack. that conflict, yes. Yes. And others have uh, since been in hiding. And then the people, of course, miss those who are associated with them in, in all ways. Mm -hmm. So it's a community that was affected by that attack. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't just an event. It's a process. The mm -hmm. Renzori has had a number of uh, conflict issues, a number of violence uh, issues that need affecting them. So at the moment, we are looking at how can we go past this. We see that uh, as a people, we have, much, we have a lot in common that we can build on. We have more that unites us than that that should divide us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're saying let's come together and work on our strengths. Let's get together and work on our strengths instead of dwelling on the weaknesses. On what divides us. So yes. who is involved and which areas are covered? Uh, for now, we looked at the most hit areas and uh, Kasese is the most uh, affected by mm -hmm. these conflicts. So for three years, we've worked on Kasese. And now this is our fourth year as Renzori Fraternity. The focus has now moved to Bondibujo. And after another year, we'll be looking at how we interest our colleagues in Fort Potro, in Chinjojo, so that we cover the whole region. So we have a cascaded work plan. 
So what is the targeted criteria? Are you only considering areas that have been affected by conflict or also those areas that are prone to conflict? The, the Renzora as a region has, uh, is actually a prone area. If you look at uh, its neighborhood with Congo, mm -hmm. you know the governance ADF in Congo and, everything, and the yes. problems that mm -hmm. happen there. And many, many rebellion activities want to take refuge in these difficult to, to access places. Mm -hmm. So the terrain of the mountain becomes mm -hmm. a good habitat mm -hmm. for bad activity. Mm -hmm. So everyone who lives around the Renzori is actually not safe. Mm -hmm. So we want to appeal to government, we want to talk to government, we want them to understand us. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't look at us from the negativity that we've experienced. Mm -hmm. They should see that within there lies potential that we can use to build our security, to build our economic resilience, and then be able to contribute to national development. Mm -hmm. So we are not looking at uh, really particular areas. Instead, our mobilization for Renzori Fraternity is looking at people who can help us in this drive of economic transformation of mm -hmm. our region. So we are looking for individuals in these different areas mm -hmm. who interest first into our thinking, and then they also start working backwards to interest their communities mm -hmm. and then we get together. So ideally the purpose of this fraternity is to remind people of their history so that it does not happen again. Yes, and mostly to to let them to tell them not to be led by that history. Mm -hmm. We've gotten to a stage where even if you're jumping on a border border, you tell this guy you're from Cassis and he's like, oh so he's not sure whether he should even charge you mm -hmm. because the next might be a panga or something. Yes. Look, come on, that's not what we are. Mm -hmm. If this happened, it's an episode that we can put in our mm -hmm. past and then be able to move on. Mm -hmm. yeah. At this fraternity, we'll be dealing with different cultures vis-a-vis -vis tribes united by the Mount Renzori. What are the, some of the things that you intend to use to keep them united? Uh, we have put together uh, a collection. We've uh, set up a circle with very good products. We have a school fees loan, we have a business loan, we have... So that holds us because we, we put some money into one pool, pool and then we are able to get money to keep running. So th that is, is a union that will not break so easily. And then also we have other social events that keep bringing us together, like the one we're having tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It builds a relationship. It mm -hmm. gives us a sense of belonging. And really now we're very proud of uh, being part of Renzori. I understand this circle will be of will be launched by the president's brother Salim Saleh. Yes. Tell us more about that. Yes, uh, we were privileged to get an opportunity to discuss with him. We mm -hmm. spoke about our aspirations and how we can transform ourselves from the negative publicity. He saw sense in us. He thinks we are a, we are a vehicle that can be used to transform that uh, that society. So he has gracefully accepted to launch our circle. And uh, we're talking about other projects that he can invest in to try and help to change the mindset in our place. So how exactly will this circle help the people that will be involved in it? Right. Uh, Do they remit some kind of money on a weekly, monthly basis? Or is it free of charge? Well, the members put they just give out money. The members put money in the circle uh, monthly. Mm -hmm. It's a rotational basis. But the bigger community will benefit from taking money from the circle. The circle is going to have products that uh, help agriculture, and uh, you know we are trying to get members to pull to get money from the circle, be able to produce, and after they've sold their produce, put back the money in the circle. So we're creating a more permanent relationship, not mm -hmm. based on money, but on general livelihood. Okay, let, let's go back to this conflict in the Renzuru region. You said uh, it started in 2014 yeah. to 2017. Yes. It's been a recurrent issue. Yeah. Now, how best, uh, what tools are you putting in place to ensure that history does not repeat itself? If it happened in 2014, happened in 2015 with hacking of the police officers and then government retaliating in 2017 with the bombardment of the kingdom. So what, what, what new avenues are you employing to ensure that this time round, nothing of this sort happens again? Well, uh, studying the cause of uh, these attacks has been the most difficult paper for anyone mm -hmm. to write. Yes. But in our quick assessment, we think it's a livelihoods issue. The Renzori people think they contributed a lot to the coming into power of government, mm -hmm. but uh, they seem not to have reaped enough. So they feel uh, neglected. They think they are playing from outside the pitch. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, well, that's for government to handle. But us as a people who come from the Renzori, what mm -hmm. contributions can we make? That's why we are thinking of 
how do we help ourselves so that we are not always crying to someone to help us. Indeed. So if we can empower ourselves economically, like we are doing through the circle, through the several projects we are, we are thinking about, then we should be able to pin our hope on ourselves, not on someone else to help us. We don't owe our living into the Renzori, onto someone else. Mm -hmm. We are born there, mm -hmm. this is our place, we should be happy to be there. Mm -hmm. So if, um, if the different areas of despondency, of this feeling of neglect can be addressed, then we focus our mind off of the government and mm -hmm. focus into our own abilities to address our issues. Mm -hmm. So it's such activities. First of all, let's appreciate the fact that we come from the Renzori. Mm -hmm. It was not by accident. We were born there. So how can we appreciate the Renzori-ness that brings us together? Mm -hmm. That mountain has a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. for trade, for investment, for agriculture, for economic activity. So it's up to us to think about how we can utilize it, then maybe approach government with clear clear proposals mm -hmm. on how they can support us to survive. Indeed. So we are hopeful that uh, we'll be able to address our problems. Mm -hmm. Government has been telling us finding African pro solutions to African problems. Mm -hmm. We're also finding Renzori solutions to Renzori problems. <laughs> well, Renzori solutions to Renzori problems. Now let's go back. This conflict dates back a very long time. Now, what is the future for the Renzori Fraternity Association in this regard? We hope that Renzori Fraternity Association will be this biggest uh, vehicle that drives the Renzori. We hope that uh, everyone will appreciate our message of non-violence and then appreciate the different products that we put out there for our socioeconomic empowerment. And then with that really, no one should be thinking about uh, creating confusion down there. We want to reach a time where the politicians come to us to ask us what the program is, other than us always looking at politicians and thinking they should be the ones to solve mm -hmm. our problems. So really, I would like to use this opportunity to really call upon all the Renzori people. Mm -hmm. Whoever is watching this program, I invite you, please, come to Chambogo West End Grounds tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We've set up everything. Restaurants will be running, bars will be running, shops will mm -hmm. be running. We have lots of... Uh, we have lots of activities. Mm -hmm. There's a children's play area set up for kids to just come and have fun. They will be swimming, face painting, and jumping in bouncing castles. It's the best day. Mm -hmm. It's the best day. Everyone from Renzori should aspire to be at Chambogo mm -hmm. tomorrow. Now, if we are to get solutions to curb this problem, we need to understand the genesis. How did we get here as we wrap up? Well, I, I don't know. I can say how we got here. The history is so long. We can't use How this did we get here we and how can we alleviate we, we this problem in a nutshell as we wrap up? We can't use this program. <laughs> your, your, final, your final comments. <laughs> Please, uh, I would like to thank you for mm -hmm. this opportunity, but also to again call on people of mm -hmm. the Renzori to come mm -hmm. to Chambogo mm -hmm. tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay, thank people you. of Renzori, you <laughs> had Mr. Capsun's house's call. Head over to Chambogo tomorrow for... An evening, not just an evening, it's going to be from morning to the wee hours, trans night. Sunday morning. <laughs> fun <laughs> packaged day. Just come and fraternize, promote diversity and unity in brotherhood. We do not need violence anymore. We are entering the election cycle, and I know this is unavoidable, but with such fraternities coming together and discussing some of these issues affecting one another, I think we can be able to alleviate this problem as per the words of Capson. Sousi, the public secretary of Renzori Fraternity Association, who will be there at the event tomorrow. You're still watching Morning at NTV with me, Romeo Busiku. Let's now take a very short break.